what we are going to be looking at is actually a very complex chemical system where the mechanism, while it has been reported in the literature, it is still an active area of research. The same person over about the course of about 20 years has published three mechanisms, three variants on the mechanism, each one improving upon the last mechanism. So let's just look at this and then we'll look at the mechanism that is associated with it. So first we have a clear colorless liquid. That was pretty hard. And to that we're going to add another clear colorless liquid. Wow, isn't that great? Woo, yes. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a, a reddish, dark red liquid. And when we add, well, first of all, I want to start this thing stirring so that gets good mixing going on here. So now adding a third red liquid to that, what am I going to get? Oh, yeah. Red plus clear apparently gives you blue. And finally, we have yellow. Yellow and blue makes? Green. Green. Excellent. You're all budding artists. Yellow and blue makes green. And then we just watch. And if you look carefully at it, what you're seeing is that it's no longer green, it's getting to be more bluish again. Take your time, not everything happens instantaneously. Digital age, kids. Back to a greenish color. Yes. It's okay, it will. What you should be observing is it's a little bit darker blue right now. Looking at the front, it's darker blue, more purplish. And it's going farther and farther to extremes. Now we're getting closer and closer to the green color. Then it's going to go closer and closer to the purple. And what makes purple? Blue and what make purple? Blue and red. So eventually, if this works, it's actually going to oscillate between green blue and red with a teal color between the green and the blue and a purple color between the blue and the red. So there's the red color and now it's going to work its way backwards. Blue, working, teal, ah, eh, give it time. Next time it'll go back to green. This is an example of an oscillatory reaction. It's oscillating between three different states inside of here. I'll show you the mechanism in a little bit. Um, but it's not like the reaction is going backwards. The reaction is always proceeding in a forward direction. It's just that the kinetics has a couple of feedback mechanisms. And those feedback mechanisms, while the reaction goes forward, the, color, the, the certain entities do increase and decrease in concentration. The net result though is there is one chemical that's in fairly large excess. As that gets depleted, this reaction will end up stopping and go towards the final products of the reaction. But given the rate that it's going, it's going to oscillate like this for easily the next 15 or 20 minutes, probably get you know, 40 or 50 oscillations as one reactant depletes in concentration.